One of the problems with pancreatic exocrine insufficiency is that it produces a range of symptoms, and some of those may be similar to other conditions. So it's important to know what to look for because, in fact, pancreatic enzyme insufficiency or pancreatic endocrine insufficiency is often the last thought that some physicians have when they see patients with appropriate symptoms or relevant symptoms. So if someone thinks that they have pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, what sort of things should they look for? Well, we've heard that a deficiency of pancreatic enzymes leads to malabsorption, and so clearly it makes common sense that if somebody is losing weight and there isn't a good reason for it, if they're tired because they're not absorbing nutrients, these are things that can go with pancreatic exocrine insufficiency. Because of the malabsorption, patients may also have diarrhea or even greasy stools or steatorrhea. And they may also be anemic because of difficulty absorbing some of the micronutrients and iron and vitamin B12 that are needed for the body to produce uh, blood. Deficiencies in one of the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin K, can also lead to uh, increased bleeding or increased bruising, so people may notice that they have bruising. And then the other thing that can happen with the deficiency in the fat-soluble vitamin D is that they may run into troubles with bone health, with osteoporosis, osteopenia, or osteomalacia, so that they have bone pain or an increased risk of fractures.